This came out with the actors that people just can't stand anymore. 800-682-1075. I want to hear from you. What actor are you just sick and tired of? You just can't stand or maybe you just never liked at all. And it could be for any reason. Personal reasons. You don't think they're a good actor. Tired of seeing them. All those. All right. Let's uh, go to Laura. Laura, what actor are you sick and tired of? Sarah Jessica Parker. And why? <laughs> I can't stand her face. Okay. Uh, <laughs> like, Man. Her face. <laughs> like, have you ever just met somebody and you just don't like them automatically and it's their face and you don't know why? But that's her. Like, I wouldn't like her in, in person. I can't I can't stand to watch her. Okay. So I think it started with, like, Hocus Pocus. Like, everybody was crazy about Hocus Pocus and I couldn't watch it. Because <laughs> of her, her face. Wow. That is the most shallow thing. And that's uh, coming from me. I yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not a shallow person at all. It's just. For her, whatever reason. I, I, okay, there's some other people, too. Okay, her voice, too. Her voice. And we said for any but reason, Laura. You don't have to back <laughs> off true. that. We said for any reason. It is funny, okay, though. Okay, like, fine, her face. There are <laughs> physical traits when you look at actors, right? But it then immediately can change based on their personality, right? Well, yeah, like Steve Buscemi. He's probably one of the more attra- unattractive right. human beings <laughs> on mm. Earth. Mm. And then he'll play like a mob boss, and it's like believable, even though he weighs like 110 pounds. Or it's like, he's, like, he's such a good actor. Yeah. Or he's... Funny in an Adam Sandler yeah. movie, you know, so you end up liking him more. All right, 800-682-1075, the actors you can't stand. Let's go to, uh, is this another Ashley? Ashley, what actor can you not stand? Jack Black. What? Wow. Why? Mm. <laughs> I think I got ruined from, like, Nacho Libre. <laughs> <laughs> and then after that, I was like, I can't see him any other way. So anytime he's, like, in a movie, I just bypass it. Now, he is over-the-top personality, so sometimes yep. you see him in an interview, you're like, okay, maybe too much. But, all right, that's surprising. Yeah. But Jack Black, yeah, any actor, any reason, 800-682-1075. I think Nacho Libre is like an underrated movie, but we're all different. Allison, what actor you just you just can't stand anymore? Donnie Depp. All right, and is it because of the legal problems or what? <laughs> no, absolutely not. I didn't like him before that. I just don't think he's a good actor. I think the only thing he was ever good in was Edward Scissorhands, and that's because he didn't talk. He just moved his hands. So, yeah. yeah, I forgot he doesn't talk in that movie, does yeah. he? Or very little. All right, Allison, thank you. Let's go to Josh. Josh, what actor are you sick and tired of? Nicholas Cage. Oh, I love Nicholas yeah, Cage. I, for some Katie reason, I like too. him. Yeah. I like him a lot. I do, too. Uh, and why is that? Well, I, I don't I, – all right, so I'm <laughs> – Oh, your phone's yeah, breaking, breaking up. up. Are you there? Mm. I'm here. Can you hear me? All right. Yeah. You met him, actually, or no? No, no, no. I was saying I watched a, a movie with him in it recently about the USS Indianapolis because I'm a history nerd, and he just butchered the entire, like, immersiveness of the movie because of just, I don't know, his, well, this is the only personality that I have, so this is going to be me in the entire movie. <laughs> Yeah, people have accused him of overacting sometimes. Yeah, he has. It, it, he's, I find that he's it's polarizing whether you like. It's not like he's okay. It's either you really like him or don't. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I think Nicolas Cage is great. Yeah. Let's go to John. What actor are you uh, sick and tired of? Tom Cruise. Oh, my gosh. Why? I just uh, met him in the making of Top Gun Maverick uh, when I was in the military, and it's just his personality was very unpleasant. So you actually met him? Yes. Is well, it, how did it, was he, this is the latest one, right? So he was making, was he yeah. using where your, your area for the movie or something? Well, he was on my ship. Oh. oh. Ship. Okay, got you. So you get to talk to him or just his well, general? Aircraft carrier, well, aircraft carrier, if you want to say that. Oh, no, I thought you said the, a cuss word, so it freaked me out for a second. Uh, so... And did no. you get to, did you get to talk to him, or you just saw him around, and he seemed like was he like seemed arrogant or what? He kind of, like a, kind of did like a meet and greet kind of thing during like the breaks of the movie, and it was just he was not trying to entertain any of it. Everyone else was very nice. Okay, mm. interesting. Well, yeah, that's unfortunate. I hate to hear that. Well, he also doesn't have and anything then, to do with yeah, his kids. When, when you think about the kid thing, yeah. and you think about that part, it does make me have a bad image, so I try to block that out me if too. I'm going to go see the movie. <laughs> it's like, I want to be entertained, but I don't care that he has nothing to do with his kids at all. Uh, Kayla, what actor are you sick and tired of? Jim Carrey. He's just annoying. <laughs> <laughs> now, now he is. Now he is. Like, he's he, just so annoying. 
Did yeah. you like him at first though? And like when he was in Pet Detective and something. Uh, I mean, um, uh, Dumb and Dumber. Maybe when I was like, maybe when I was younger. But now as an adult, I just cannot stand it. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. Yeah. I, I, but his movies, something, something, Dumb and Dumber, and uh, what's the the trooper? Ace Ventura Pet Detective? No, when he oh, was the uh, trooper. Me, me, myself, and Irene. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. Those the movies to me are just absolutely hilarious. But he has changed the way he comes across. And that makes me not like him as much. Mm. Yeah, he seems like really serious, and then then he says like some weird stuff. But um, yeah, let's go to Casey. What actor are you sick and tired of? John Hamm. Okay, and and what reason? I've never heard that before. And uh, bridesmaids. He was just a jerk. He was terrible in bridesmaids. And then I watched all the Mad Men, and I really liked the uh, show, but. He's just a terrible guy in it, and then you get to the very end of the show, and he doesn't care about his kids and stuff anymore, and it's just hard to watch, especially when you're because wait, wait. Of So you don't like the character? You don't he like plays. the character? I, I I don't like the movies he's played. It it from the from his shows and and his his spots, it's made me dislike him. Okay, I think it happens sometimes. <laughs> well, when we saw Frozen the musical, yeah, at Tanger, and the, the guy was such a good actor. Uh, the guy that played Hans, yeah. mm-hmm. you know, in the movie, yeah. he's a he's the bad guy. <laughs> and when he came out at the end, er, you know, all the everyone else got a standing ovation, and he got like booed. You know? <laughs> and really, if anything, he w- he was just showcasing how good of an actor he yes. was because he was like I was thrown off guard because I'd never even seen the, the storyline before. Right. I, I almost was like, "What is going on?" I was shocked by the difference in personality. And right. that's a, that means he's a great actor, right? Yeah, it does. But you know, some people they'll they'll just uh, tag that onto him like they see him out in public. Oh, that's that guy that <laughs> betrayed Anna <laughs> right. or whatever. Like, no, he's an actor. But yeah, you know, any reason. And by the way, you want to see Frozen the musical at Tanger, it goes through June fourth, so just got a couple of days left to see it. It's really good. Let's go to Miranda. What actor are you sick and tired of? Chris Pratt. Wow, I love Chris Pratt. And why is that? I just feel like he's in everything. Like, we literally went to the drive-in a couple weeks ago to see Guardians of the Galaxy, and they're playing Super Mario Brothers behind us, and he's in both of them. I just feel like he's in everything, and I'm tired of it. Okay. For the record, what drive-in? Was it in Eden? Baden. Near El Marl. Say it again? Baden. Baden Lake. Baden Lake. Oh, okay. I didn't know they had a drive-in. We're Yeah. What? Nice. What's... I'm trying to... I'm trying like to think. Saturday nights, they post it on Facebook. Okay, all right, cool. Because I know Eden is, has probably the most there, there is famous a, one. It's on Baden Road. It's a theater. It's a drive-in. It. I mean, it's yeah. There's a big screen outside, and they have a drive-in there. Yep, cool. Baden Lake. Cool. They have two screens. All right. All right, well, cool. Well, thanks. You gave us some good information there. because Two I, screens and show exclusively Chris Pratt. <laughs> Chris Pratt movies <laughs> only, and then Parks and Rec when he's in Parks and Rec. <laughs> <laughs> All right, uh, Matt, What do you have an actor that you just heard kind of, ugh? I do, and I've, I've said it before, and I feel like I get some pushback on this, but it's Kristen Wiig. Oh, I love her. I don't think she's funny. <laughs> oh, yeah. my gosh. I think she has, had, she has been lucky enough to be cast in funny roles, mm-hmm. but I don't think she brought anything to the character I don't think she was the reason it was funny. I think you could have put any human being in some of those roles, and those lines would have been iconic. So you think the Bridesmaids uh, movie, what, you don't give her... Did you like that movie? I like that movie. I think that movie is carried by um, Melissa, Melissa McCarthy. McCarthy and Maya Rudolph. Okay. I See, think I, they're I thought, much funnier. I thought she actually was really funny in that movie. That's that's why I started liking her. And you know, I've been on record before, and I got some blowback from it, but... I didn't. I find that for some reason there's more <laughs> guy actors that are funny than women for the most part, and comedians. So right. Yeah. When then when she was doing this, it's, she stuck out more than anything. So mm-hmm. that's funny how we have. But it. I think I I don't think that she was the reason that role was funny. I think her going back and forth mm-hmm. with the other actors in that movie made it funny. But I, I think you could have cast any person who's ever been on SNL in that role, and yeah. it would have been just. What as about good. the SNL skit that she does? They're not. They're not good. Oh my god! The tiny funny. hands thing—that's a funny bit, but she—it's funny because of the hands. It's not because of her what about in that Target? role. What about Target Lady? Target Lady again. I think anybody could have played. Mm-hmm. I don't think okay. she brings anything to that that hey, scene. It's your opinion. You're yeah. wrong, but and your honestly, opinion. it's one of those situations <laughs> where the more people defend her, the less I like her. The more you dig in more. Yeah, because it's just like I don't. I 
don't get it. I think wow. Kristen Wiig is the funniest uh, female ever on SNL, and and oh, yes, and yeah. probably top ten funny people yes. on SNL of Way all time. Off. Okay, and, and I think she's probably at least top five funniest women woman actor for sure. Oh mm. yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, so Matt, way off know. on that. Matt. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. I just, I disagree. Well, you'll agree with mine, I think. The actor I'm sick and tired of, John Cena. He's just everywhere, yeah. and I don't like him in anything. Now, the thing that I don't, that, I'm, that really bothers me is I'm starting to hear that he is like the nicest guy in Hollywood. <laughs> he treats everyone on the set like really well from, you know, you know, obviously the co- co-stars and stuff, but like to somebody that's getting your lunch. He'll mm. follow everyone back on Twitter. I mean, he, he like apparently does a lot of charity but when I see myself, and it's partially his face too. He's not an unattractive guy, but it's like the he has like the flat top. I'm like, really? I don't know. I just, <laughs> the jean shorts. I just don't like it. Didn't he? Pl- he played in one movie where he was like a a marine or a navy se- or something. I saw a movie with him. And he was a firefighter, and I was like, I had to watch it with my son Eli. I'm like, oh, I can't wait for this to be over. It, that was the that's the only role I can see him in. And then he tries to get other roles. I'm like, I don't get it. No, and he's everywhere. I mean, he's done a lot for his career. He tried to everywhere. host that Wipeout show too. Yeah. Terrible. <laughs> he does, he'll do anything. Uh, uh, Jason, do you have somebody? Well, uh, I'm really getting tired of Margot Robbie. <laughs> oh, <geez>. just what? <laughs> kidding. <laughs> She's my number one. Yeah. Uh, no, I think it's always been, and there's other uh, actors that I will say now that, ooh, not into as much, but I would say my top actor that I've never been able to relate to is uh, – Keanu Reeves. Uh, um, he's not Keanu, a good actor. Keanu Reeves, yeah. t- something about it since Speed bothers me. Yeah. And then um, wh- who was it? She, he was with the co uh, the co actor, actress, I'm sorry. In Speed. Oh, that's Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock also is number two. Oh, man. And it all started because of Speed, but she redeemed part of herself when that uh, show came out about where she was blindfolded. Oh, Bird, Bird Box. Box. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love Sandra Bullock. Did you like her in Blindside? Did you see Blindside? I didn't see that. Oh, you, no. that's a really good movie. True story. I yeah. try to avoid, typically, Sandra Bullock and Keanu Reeves <laughs> movies. Wow. <laughs> and John Wick is just like, uh, that's t- a total popcorn movie. Turn your brain off, and it's just action nonstop. But he also says, like, three words. I mean, he, they, he does not talk in those movies. Maybe that's why. All right, we do have the top five actors. Well, we'll start at number six. This actor has never been. This Somebody did a whole survey. So these on, are the hated? On, yeah, actors we can't stand anymore. At number six, okay. Will Smith. Yeah, I used to love him. Yeah, I I still love his movies. I I just his movies to me are just so good. Almost every single one you've ever seen. Yeah, and then it's it's just, but see that's not fair, right? So we have the Tom Cruise thing, and we try to push him aside. Like we don't care that he has nothing to do with his kids. We love going to see Tom Cruise. <laughs> right. It's the same thing with Will Smith, though. Yeah, he, he's had one major misstep in yeah. his life, and it's a major one, but. Yeah, people probably shouldn't be judged on their worst moments unless it's like O.J. Simpson. All right, uh, Lena Dunham comes in at number five. She's had people f- uh, think she's like an elitist. She's extremely politically active, and I think that turns a lot of people yep. off. At number four, Jared Leto. They say oh. he comes across as creepy. Yeah, I can see that. And but, pretentious. But I think he also comes across that a lot of women do like him because he comes across mysterious, too. Yeah, and he's in a band yep. you know, and all that stuff. He's one of those actors, though, that won't take – what is it they call it, like a role for the crowd, a role for the audience? He only takes like very serious roles right. that will make him possibly win an Oscar. Like, like he he won't just do like a, a Marvel Will Ferrell movie. movie or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, he's he's like a serious actor. He's a very good actor, though. And the top three actors we can't stand, and number three, and I think a few years back you would not have heard this, uh, James Corden. Oh, is, is he an actor? Yeah, he's been in uh, mm. several movies. He's been in a bunch of movies. He's in Cats. He was in Peter Rabbit one and two. He did a lot on Broadway as well. Did a lot of Broadway. So, so he was he an actor before he had his own talk show? Mm. Uh, yeah. Yeah. In England, yeah. In the, I think so. Definitely in Broadway. They say uh, James Cord, despite his attempts to come off as relatable, most find him to be the exact opposite. Mm. And then he's kind of phony, but we're hearing, according to people yeah. that work with him, you never know. Number two, he hasn't done much lately, Steven Seagal. People are sick and tired yeah. of him. <laughs> yeah. They say a poor actor and even worse human being. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> yeah, what is up with it? I know he ended up being like his goal in life was to be a sheriff. Yeah. <laughs> a sheriff. <laughs> right. But didn't he like move out of the country or something now? And like in Russia or something yeah, weird. Something I think so. weird. And uh and we he, he's the worst interview we've ever had on our show. It was a long time ago. Didn't want to be here. Boring. I mean, we and we tried to, you know, it's our job to make the interview interesting, but it was just he didn't want to be here. So and then number one, the most hated actor, Andy Dick. That's surprising to me. Huh. Andy Dick. 
Uh, <laughs> they say he's not a good person, and they're just he's like annoying. I hear he can be extremely mean, but that's kind of his like thing. His characters like like just no filter and just like, Wah! like, like a wild yeah. all over yeah. the place. Yeah, so he it, had some kind of show that was on MTV a while back that I thought it was hilarious. Yeah, he would do like outrageous stuff. Oh, no, I've seen them. He had an MTV show, and he would do these skits that were, like, yeah, outrageous. Was it called The Andy Dick Show? It might have called The Andy Dick yeah. Show. He did some skit about vampires under his bed one time, and I just couldn't stop <laughs> laughing. Uh, just some other people that made the list real quick. Woody Allen, Kevin Hart, surprisingly. What? They said that he's a one-trick pony, like he's the same person in every movie. He is, but I like it. He's, oh, I love he's Kevin. so funny. I love Kevin Hart. Jesse Eisenberg, who I think is a good actor, and James Franco, and I think there's some personal issues with that. Real quick, last two calls. Kayla, what actor or actress can you not stand? Um, actually, her name is, um, Nicole Kidman. Nicole Kidman. Yes, I feel like she's also in everything, one minute her hair is red, the next minute her hair is blonde, <laughs> she has good range, and then she, she plays, um, on, like, before you go to the movie theater, and she does, like, that oh, entrance yeah. before your movie. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's yeah. It's like, it's not unless you see it, but God, I'm so tired of seeing it. And okay. so I just relate her with that. Got you. And then uh, Pat. Pat, what actor are you sick and tired of? Anthony Anderson. Really? Yes. He's in Blackish and he's been in a bunch of on, movies. Yes, and he's on um, To Tell the Truth, where he brings his mommy on the game show. Oh, that's right. Um, I find that... I find... Um, uh, I'm going to say it. I find he's very racist. And oh. um, I, I every time Tell the Truth comes on, I turn that channel. Okay. I, I just can't stand him. We all have our reasons. <laughs> Thank you so much. We all have our reasons of why we don't like certain actors. Sometimes it's their face, and sometimes it's the things they do off the screen, and sometimes we don't like the way they act at all.